So this video is going to follow up the unboxing video I did of the Giro Register and the Giro Fixture. And in that video, I talked about the MIPS feature and I actually got to test the MIPS feature on the first ride of using the Register helmet. Now, let me first of all say that people think that this helmet looks like a mushroom on my head. Um, I'll kind of agree with that. Uh, I'm not real stoked about the looks of this helmet from the front view, but I think the side view, the side and the back view, I think are okay. And it offers good sun protection for gravel riding. So anyway, just wanted to mention that. So I was actually able to test the MIPS feature of the Register helmet my first ride out with it. So I did a ride after work a couple nights ago and it's really dry. May is a, a really dry month where I live. And I was coming around a right hand corner and slipped out on some really dry leaves and debris that was on the trail. And I was down on my side before I knew what happened. And I hit my, my arm, uh, my hip, my shoulder, and my head. So my head hit the ground and I could feel my head hit, but I couldn't feel it, if that makes sense. So it was, even though it hit fairly hard, it wasn't like my head just stopped or, or I could feel the impact really hard. So your head with the MIPS helmet will rotate inside the helmet with this little extra liner and it works. Now, it's hard to say how hard the impact was or, or, or you know, if, if, if it would have been worse without a MIPS helmet, but I honestly felt like this worked. Now, I don't crash very often. I can't remember the last time I crashed. And other than having a really sore neck, like in here and up here, I got away just fine. Uh, the good news is the bike is totally fine. Nothing happened to the bike. Um, but as far as the MIPS feature on the helmet, I actually feel that it works. And I will probably not mountain bike anymore without a MIPS helmet. Uh, just that little bit of security of knowing that your head can move inside the helmet and the risk of a concussion or serious head injury is slightly decreased with a MIPS helmet. So there you go, just a real quick follow-up video, quick discussion on MIPS. How about you? Have you crashed with a MIPS helmet? How bad was the head injury if you hit your head? I'm curious to know. Leave that in the comments below. Thanks for watching.